For a lot of us, we don't think twice about traveling through the airport, but for the deaf and hard of hearing community, airport travel comes with its fair share of challenges. Fox 17's Olivia Yatuma was able to learn more about how these individuals are affected and what an airport is doing to bridge the gap. Yeah, that's right, Josh. The Gerald R. Ford Airport has recently implemented new technology to provide more access to those within the deaf and hard of hearing community so that they are given the tools to travel with the same convenience as the rest of us. This is a written statement from Nancy Piersma. Being deaf is very hard to hear everything going on, and it is not the same as what hearing people hear. There's a big lack of information on the airline schedule to know when a flight arrives or departs or changes, or what the speaker had to say about the weather, delay, or emergency. That is what is hard for the deaf, deafblind, and hard of hearing. It causes us high anxiety or stress. People like Nancy are who inspired Gerald R. Ford to implement sign language boards throughout the airport. Now there's a way to communicate these, you know, just basic messages that everybody else hears over the PA system. That's JJ Swain, IT manager at GRR. This was a huge success out of the flight program in that we found a technology that could be easily deployed at our airport, but then any airport uh, in the world, really. GRR is one of the first airports in the country to test these AI-driven sign language boards. We can feed just about any text in that we need for flight information. Because of this new technology, the deaf and hard of hearing can now receive airport messages in their native language, like learning if their flight is canceled, delayed, or on time. That's so important to just having a peace of mind as you travel. These sign language boards are located at key points throughout the airport, including a location before security and one right before you get to your gate. When the flight starts to board and you hear that message over the loud speaker. Uh, we also um, have the Synapse uh, signer come on the screen and tell us uh, the flight's boarding and it's time to get your uh, boarding pass out. This advanced technology leaves Nancy very grateful and more at ease. I would like to see more of deaf, deafblind, and hard of hearing be able to enjoy trips and feel accessible in their travel. I'm happy that AI is trying to accommodate us to have the accessibility to travel independently. I really appreciate them. Gerald R. Ford started testing this technology with the flight program back in November of 2023. Currently, the sign language boards just provide basic messages, but J.J. Swain says the airport believes this technology will be able to translate even more effectively into ASL in the next 12 to 24 months as AI continues to develop. In studio, Olivia Yatuma, Fox 17 News.